Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Putin came out and uh, made a statement, a televised statement, uh, 5 minutes and 21 seconds, if I remember correctly. I covered it in a previous video that I made today, uh, where I uh, featured the video and uh, how other people try to uh, contain Russia, telling them, uh, don't do it, don't do it, and the Russians will do it. Go and watch that video. Because in that video, Putin says what Russia will do uh, <clears throat> to the ones that organized and knew about it and so on. Whomever they want and wherever they are. So that means... So we have here a few articles where in that speech, Putin, the president of the Russian Federation, uh, states that according to the preliminary, that's the key word, remember that preliminary investigation means things could change, nuances could be added, uh, information could be taken out, uh, you know what I mean, statements could be withdrawn and so on. So preliminary investigation, according to the Russian investigators, like would be the CIA, FBI, whatever you want to call them, in this case FBI, um, so far determined that the captured, uh, based on the um, statements made during the interrogation of the four perpetrators, active perpetrators, shooters, and uh, in total 11 involved so far, uh, the Russians determined uh, in the preliminary determination that the Ukrainians prepared an uh, escape route for the uh, those four perpetrators. That means they were, according to the investigation of the Russians, like FBI will tell you, why do I say that? Because you're going to obviously not you. Some will say, well, FBI is not uh, FSB, the Russians, because we are bad, we are exceptional, and they are somehow garbage. Okay, F off with that one. So, all right, so the investigation of this guy says, said that we apprehended them, the four, while they were traveling towards the border. I think it was Bryansk. We uh, they were traveling, Bryansk Oblast, traveling towards Ukraine, where the Ukrainians provided them with security corridor safe corridor, that means allowing them to come into Ukraine and who knows where. This is according to the preliminary investigation. Russia provided this information based on their, their investigation, fake, spinned, uh, tempt, whatever you want to call it. But FBI will tell you the truth, okay? And uh, according to the statements made by those guys, the other side, so the guys that I'm going to fe feature here, have no fucking information whatsoever. Right? All the information they have about this comes from the Russians. But they will definitely say, no, that's not true, the Russians are lying. So let's see what kind of evidence the Ukrainians and others will bring, like an idiot from uh, uh, CIA will bring that, uh, a former agent will come and tell us, that's nonsense, and other idiots will say, that's nonsense. And I would like to share with you the evidence they, they provide, including the Ukrainians, uh, to rebuff the Russians claims that those guys were somehow connected with the Ukrainians, okay? And uh, be uh, brace yourselves, uh, they will provide with no information, with no uh, evidence to support their fucked up claims. I'm not saying the Russians are telling the truth, but at least they provide a narrative, if you know what I mean. The other ones... All right, here. The Telegraph. Moscow attackers were held by Ukraine. Putin claims. And that's what he said, that uh, those guys were ready to create a corridor. The four men behind the deadly attack on a concert hall in Moscow were behind, uh, were being held by Ukraine, Vladimir Putin claimed on Saturday. He didn't say that, he said it differently. But anyway, Islamist group, terrorist group, claimed their responsibility. It doesn't really matter who claims it. There are people around the world who make a, make a phone call or say, we did it, they did it. And, uh, okay, so that's what these guys like us to be misled, I think. But we don't know as of now. We know that supposedly the Islamic, okay, they say the Islamic again, released a video, okay. A lot of people can release a lot of videos. The United States has also attributed the attack to the ISIS. But Putin ignored the statements and instead l linked, it, l linked the attackers to Nazis' Kremlin propaganda code for the Ukrainian enemies. In a televised speech, which I covered, this is what he said. All four perpetrators, Putin said, were found and detained. They tried to hide and move towards Ukraine, where previously a window that has been prepared for them to cross the border. That's what he claims, according to the preliminary uh, evidence provided by his uh, FBI. Next article. 
the new voice of Ukraine. Putin finally releases address on mass shooting in Moscow, tries to blame Ukraine. This are the Ukrainians saying, okay? And again, he said that he, that, he said that claimed that those involved in the shooting allegedly intended to travel to Ukraine, where, according to him, not to him, to his investigation investigators, a window to exit the country had been prepared for them. True or false? I don't know. Right? I want the counter arguments. And he says here. I'm quoting Putin. All four perpetrators of the attack, all those who shot and killed people, have been found and detained. They were trying to hide and were moving towards Ukraine where, according to preliminary data, a window was prepared for them to cross the border. A total of 11 people were detained. All right. Now, next. DPA International Kiev dismisses Putin's claim Ukraine involved in Moscow attack. Let's see how, what kind of evidence or counter arguments these guys are going to provide. Remember, all the information we got is from these guys right here, right now, according to, uh, based on the uh, interrogation conducted by their FBI with the per alleged perpetrators. Right, Ukraine military intelligence has sharply rejected, okay, it's a statement, comments by president about the, Putin, Putin about the country's alleged involvement in Friday terrorist attack on Moscow concert hall. Putin's claim that for pop, pop, we got that one, okay, and he says here, it says that absolutely false about the statement the spokesman for the AGUR intelligence service, Andrei Yusov, said on Saturday. So they say this is a claim. I didn't do it. This guy said, you know, I'm not involved. Let's see. And I'm quoting. Of course, what do you mean, of course? This version cannot stand up to criticism. This is like someone accuses you of, your, of something, brings some evidence, and you say, of course, that's false. Okay, go on, keep going. No, 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 that's my... Counter argument. Of course, that's wrong. Ah, because we say, of course. Oh, we know. <laughs> Fuck off. Let's move on. Now, again, everyone in the world understands this. Well, I don't. Oh, you're an idiot. Okay, got it. So you see, all these things, of course, you know, everyone, nobody believes you. Everybody knows this. These are imbecilic statements made too many times in this society. And that's supposedly uh, meant to be an argument. Everyone knows. No, I don't think so. How do you know? How do you know everyone knows? And they say, and the next one will be, if they don't know, that means they're bad or they don't want it. How do you know that? Have you conducted a study? An opinion poll? No, we're just saying. And if you say that, the same thing I can say. Nobody knows. If you say everybody knows, I say nobody knows, and it's your word against my word. Basically, this is the level of garbage of intellectual argument uh, this society descended. And I'm not talking about in a garbage in a neighborhood or something. No, no, no. In fucking institutions, governmental institutions, direct experience, okay? And you're supposed to say, so that's your fucking argument? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> like you're, and everybody's like looking at you like you're the crazy one. Well... This is it. Again, accept perhaps the zombified Russian population. Got it? So if you don't accept that everyone in the world, then you're a zombified crazy guy. He added listing the many obstacles preventing and such infiltration across the border. Okay, let's see. W listing. What are they? I would like to know them. The borderline is mined. It is monitoring using all means, including aerial reconnaissance from both sides. Okay. You provided a corridor. So that means it's a location where they can cross safely. You're expecting them. No, no. Oh, the board is mine. That's your argument. And that's it. That's it. I don't see anything else here. Do you see anything? Border areas are full of its troops, special agents, intelligence services, and security. That's your, that, 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 that's it. He said about the window. Woo, open it. He's talking like we don't know what he's talking about. Listen, my friends. If the idiot population, the baboons out there, the baboons out there, don't know what, what's a uh, safety window and uh, they don't know this kind of termino terminology and what that provided, they should look in the fucking Second World War at least. Okay? And not only. But they're like, what are you talking about? The, the, the border is sealed. Nobody crosses in. There's no such a thing. There is such a thing. Just go and fucking do something else. Get off your porn and watch those... Uh, interesting uh, uh, pieces of information from books, lectures, evidence, historical data, 
events. What the hell? Oh yeah, so this is the information they got us. Let's see what else. He cited the Ukrainian trail on Friday, bloody events. Okay, so that's, that's the evidence. This is how uh, Kiev dismissed it. Our border has mines and people waiting. Okay, next one. Former CIA agent. This comes from the Zahil. Putin putting blame on Ukraine for Moscow attack is nonsense. First, who the fuck are you? I don't know who you are. You have no authority, no uh, moral, uh, I don't know, uh, superiority, or you can't claim shit. Because I put CIA in front of your name, it doesn't mean that's a good connotation, you fucked up. Okay? But they push, former says is nonsense. Okay, maybe this guy, I already read the article, that's why I already know what he's going to say, which is nothing. Why? Again, he's going to say, that's nonsense. Why? Oh, but that's a beautiful day outside, tomorrow is Monday. These are, are going to be his arguments. But because they think it's former CIA agent, we all get wet down there and we're ready to get for a fuck. Really? Jesus Christ. Former CIA agent Mark Polymeropoulos. Polymer. Opoulos. Polymer. Said the Russian President Vladimir Putin casting blame for the Ukraine, for the Moscow concert hall shooting on Ukraine is nonsense. Quote unquote. All right, let's see your evidence. Uh, Polymeri. Polymeri Polus dismissed Putin's attempt to link the gunman that, gunman that killed at least 133 people on Friday at the Crocus pop, 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 in, to Ukraine, the countries his military is currently invading. All right, let's see. This is what Polymeros says. So, we heard today Vladimir Putin in about a five minute address. He mentioned Ukraine, he's claiming that the terrorists were actually trying to get across the border in Ukraine. And quote, he told MSNBC Alex Witt on Saturday, fellow CIA agent. I'm just kidding. But... And I'm quoting again, there's absolute no evidence for this. Those guys claim that the, in, uh, after the um, interrogation, that's what the perpetrator said. There's no absolutely no evidence. Well, maybe you would say, uh, there's not it's in, it's insufficient evidence? N absolutely no, he says. How do you know that? You're a former fuck up. What are you talking about? And then you also see on Russian TV networks over the last half an hour, hour or, or two, even some deep fakes, like what? That have been generated, which seem to implicate Ukrainian security officials. And, and of course, again, of course, this is all nonsense. Why? Why? All right, and I'm going here. All four direct perpetrators of the terrorist attack, all those who shot. Okay, this is Putin said. I'm waiting for Polimero Polus to say what the fuck he's, he's, you know, he's talking about. He's going to talk about the incompetence of the Russian security service. Okay, and I say one, of course, to deflect kind of incompetence of Russian security services, he said. But there are some things that I think Putin can't. Okay, I'm not finding here anything that, okay, where's the nonsense? What are your arguments? What are your arguments, former fucking CIA agent? How did you get that job? That's basic shit. Oh, oh okay, all right, here it is. All right, here it is. Where is the mofo saying that? Absolutely no evidence for this. A statement is an evidence or not? You can use it. If not, be careful, we have the Second World War and the death camps. There were a lot of statements. You have to take them in seriously, correct? So if someone tells you something during an uh, interrogation or an interview or simply a statement, there's absolutely no evidence. You have to take them as evidence. That's why you interview motherfucker people. You interrogate people in this case to find out evidence. And the statement can be used. And then you put that together, you look deeper and you might be fine more than that. But again, absolutely no evidence. This is a CIA agent. So imagine you're in front of this guy and he's investigating you. Whew, no. And then he says here that, again, 11, some deep fakes that have been generated. Like what? I don't trust you. I don't believe what you say, man. You didn't build any uh, credibility. You have no credibility. On the contrary, uh, your organization, your agency, told us that there were weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. So I don't think so. You're deep in a big 
fucking deep hole that you dug for yourself. And you tell me, so when you say former CIA agent, that doesn't mean for me, oh, I'm ready, baby doll. No, I say, all right, my guard is right here. Ready? So this is the evidence. This is the evidence. And again, the last article here comes from Business Insider. But again, I'm going to have the Ukrainians rebuffing right here. Business Insider, Kiev rebuffs Putin's claim that gunmen who killed 133 Russian concert goers had links to Ukraine. And they use the same thing. And the evidence is, let's see, let's see. The terrorists planned across, pop up. Kiev denied an involvement and called the FSB claims a provocation. Provocation. Okay, you can deny it. Responsible main intelligence, blah, 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 rejected the FSB's statements as absurd. That means impossible, absurd, crazy, it can't happen. No. And let's see. This is what Putin said, according to Papap, the military. Where is the rebuff? Huh? I don't see anything here. The only thing is, these guys say, no, that's not true. Okay, that's all. But they rebuff. You did it? I didn't do it. Oh, that's enough, man. Emily said he didn't do it. That's good to go. All right, my friend, this is the level. Um, obviously, Russia is angry about it and for good reasons. And they will hit people that they uh, will think. Or no, they will think. That's the wrong way. First, they will think they will want. Let's put it this way, as I said in another video. They will have two kind of... Uh, uh, Evidence that will prove one, uh, they're gonna ask these guys who bop, 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 who did it, you did it, with who helped you, bop, 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 bop. and then they will come and say, Well, actually, weapons of mass destruction scenario, uh, Saddam Hussein, and we have to invade that, we have to hit that, we have to hit that. This is gonna be the Russians will do the same thing the Americans did, and since Americans do no wrong, the Russians will have, uh, uh, have to copy the same behavior after all, right? Yeah. Let's attack Iraq, let's attack uh, Saddam, let's destroy those guys because they did it in September 11. Did they? Did they do it? Yeah. <laughs> but it's okay, we have to punch someone in the face. We did, well, the Russians probably will do the same thing. And they will probably find out who the perpetrators were. This guy said, oh, uh, Osama. Okay, well, they got him. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.